I teach because when you learn, you become a better person, always. I get to see young minds blossom, grow, develop. The ability to engage a student is the key to being a good teacher. Using outdated materials such as textbooks makes that job much more difficult. In textbooks, you know, there's diagrams, but they're static. Something like a cell membrane is a, is a fluid thing. It's always moving. With U.S. history, they print a textbook and it's outdated almost the second that it's printed. Textbooks are very expensive. Um, they're usually 60 to to $100 for different textbooks. So they're adopted for five years and then you're stuck with them. They're uh, extremely heavy and if you have three or four in a backpack, you know, it's, it's a lot of weight and so some students will simply um, just quit bringing textbooks to class. There is no reason today to assume that kids have to use the same tools that they used in 1950. In fact, to do so is to prepare them for a world that's already passed. Green County Schools had a college going rate of 26 percent. We needed to give our children more of an academic foundation for their future. In 2002, we put a Mac in the hands of every child, grades 6 through 12. Our teachers are excited about the use of the Mac and how it helps with academic rigor in the classroom, how it's allowed students to be much more engaged in what it is they do. We now have a college going rate of 88%. The Mac's transformed the curriculum, transformed how I went about developing lessons to motivate these students. There's so many different applications that we can use iMovie, GarageBand, Keynote, Pages. The kids kind of find their niche. It really paid off using the Macs because we had the highest pass rate ever. I knew from then on out there's no way I could go back to the traditional way of learning. Education has always been a big part of Apple's DNA. And that's because we really believe that technology can make a profound difference in the way that teachers teach and kids learn. And we now have the opportunity to change one of the cornerstones of education, the textbook. With the iPad, we're making textbooks so much more engaging. By adding audio, video, and interactivity, the content comes to life in ways that are just not possible on the printed page. The information is always up to date, and instead of carrying 30 pounds of books in a backpack, you just need one iPad. These new textbooks are going to allow students to do things they could never do before. Double check with a partner to make sure that you have all your spelling. Heather is doing everything from reading practice to blogging with her kids. P-R-A-F-T. I hope that when people come into my classroom that they see the students uh, learning, number one, and number two, having fun. But if you ask the students, they would tell you, they're just playing, they're having fun with their iPods. Well, really, they're working on comprehension, they're working on their fluency and recording. With our very initial group of pilot teachers, we saw students within a six-week period of time making anywhere between four and six times the fluency gains that they should have in that period of time, what's considered normal. So, for example, normal fluency gains are between five and ten words every six weeks. We had kids making anywhere from 40 to 60 words gain in their fluency in just a six week period of time. That's when we knew we were onto something. Thank you.